This video we will create a parallax scene for Cartoon Animator 4. Again we will only using open source software. Let's get started. This scene is provided by pixabay.com and the creator open clip art vectors, the link will be in the description. Make sure you download the file in vector format. So, locate the file cacti155567.svg in File Explorer, and open it in Inkscape. Now in the Layers tab, create a new layer pressing the plus icon. Select the whole image and right click move to layer, and select layer 1. Count the number of objects and duplicate layer 1, 9 times. Rename layer 1 to original, and then rename the rest of the layers according to each object. Layers are displayed according to their order in the list. The front cactus which is high in the list would show in front of the mountains, which is lower in the list. Let's work on one layer at a time. Turn off all layers except the layer sun. Now, remove all objects just leaving the sun. When done, turn off that layer, proceed to the next layer and make it visible. Select that layer and again remove the other objects except the one we need. Do the same operation for all the other layers. When we make each layer visible, we can now see our complete scene. So let's make another image layer. Select the foreground layer and duplicate it. Rename that layer to 2 midground. Turn off the foreground layer, select midground layer, and go to the top menu to layer tab. In the drop down menu, select flip the image horizontally. Let's use the arrow up to increase the height of the midground layer. This layer we will use for the ground for the small cactus in our scene later. With all the new layers visible, export the image as a PNG. The next step is to export each layer as PNG files. First, start with the sun layer. With only the sun layer visible, copy the name, hit the export PNG image tab, select the selection tab. Go to file name and change the number 155567 to sun. And hit the export tab. Do that for each layer, hiding and revealing each layer, then exporting them with the new names you copied. Just a note. Make sure to select the layer that you are exporting each time. Let's have a quick look at our images.
move the newly created PNG files to a new workspace. I forgot that we will need the cacti 155567.png file in the workspace too. Right click on the file cacti 155567.png, select in the drop down menu Krita to open the file. If you have not installed Krita, pause this video, go to krita.org, where you can download and then install the application. Set the opacity slider to around 70%. We can now use this layer as a guide for aligning each layer. Now drag and drop each PNG file into Krita, and select Insert, as new layer. Select the Move tool, and move the sun in place over top of the sun of the background layer, then turn that layer off. Repeat for the rest of the images. If you notice the layer order, we want the further away images, like the mountains, to be at the bottom of the layers list, and the large cacti to be at the top of the list. As layers stack on top of each other, the layers above will hide what's below. Let's save our file in the PSD file format which is a Photoshop image. You can do that, by going to File at the top menu, selecting Save As, and in drop-down menu select Photoshop Image. Type in your file name and hit Save. Turn the background layer back on. Hide the other layers. Select a nice blue from the color palette, and turn the opacity back up to 100%. Select the brush tool and paint the entire layer a solid color. This layer will serve as our sky. Let's add some color to a couple other layers, making them visible. Select that layer, then colorize them using the bucket fill tool. All the cactus we'll leave black. With all layers visible, to save all the changes we made, hit the save icon in the toolbar. If you check the workspace you should see the PSD file cacticene.psd. Now open up Cartoon Animator 4. In Content Manager, select Scenes and Custom. Select Scene, then right click, select New Folder and create folder Twitchimo Studio, and open that folder. Go back to your workspace, find the file, cacticene.psd and drag and drop it to the stage area in Cartoon Animator. A pop-up menu will appear, select Scene. Our new scene will load. Expand Cartoon Animator to maximize window view. Select Scene. Then camera pan button and move scene into middle view.
Next hit the 3D view icon. You can move the scene left to right, up and down, using the control and left mouse. Use control and right mouse to rotate in 3D view. The three access arrows correspond to the movement of each object. The red arrow is the X axis, which is side to side. The green arrow is the Y axis, which is up and down. And the blue arrow is the Z axis, which is front to back. The three boxes in the base of the arrows allow movement in all direction. Select the background image, then the blue arrow, the Z axis and push the background back. We'll push it back quite a bit. Select sun and push it back just before the background. Next push the mountains back. Then the midground layer and the small cacti, making sure they are just before the midground layer. Now turn off the 3D view. Now if we hit camera pan and move the scene view around, it will give the 3D parallax view effect. Let's enlarge the background layer and adjust the sun location. Select the mountains layer and stretch them out a bit. Then also the mid and foreground ground layers. Again, hit camera pan and move the scene around, to see the effect. Now is a good time to save your work by hitting the add symbol, and name your scene. Now hit the camera record view. This mode allows you to record movement in your scene. Open the timeline. Open project settings icon and in the opening box set the total of frames to 250. Hit OK. Making sure the timeline is at zero, select the camera record view button and move the scene in place to the left. Now move the timeline to the 250th frame, and move the scene right, to the end position. Select the stop button and push play. In this section we can render the scene into a video. Select the render in the top menu, and select, render video. Under render settings, set format to mp4. Select output size, I'm going to use HD 1080p. In this case we want all the video, so select all. Hit export. Name your file and it will render the video. When done, if you hit yes, you can view your new video creation. I hope this tutorial has helped you, to see the steps. From turning a vector graphic, to a 3D parallax view effect scene, for cartoon animator.